All right, and welcome everyone back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts playing as the Russian Empire, and we are we're getting stuck in. We're getting we're getting some fun in on this day. So let's. Uh, so unfortunately, we got a bit of a situation here. We don't quite have enough tonnage, uh, given the situation uh, here. So we got our our two battleships, but we definitely need some extra tonnage there. Um, which might mean bringing over the ships in the Caribbean in a single squadron to be able to assist with this invasion. So we're actually going to go ahead and do that real quick. We'll go ahead and pile these guys in like so, and we'll create a task force to send over to Spain to start trying to take those islands. Now, of course, we're currently, uh, we had just seized Pingu from the Chinese. We're going to work our way over here to uh, Guam and then take the Carolina Islands as well. So we've got a bit of a bit of a stretch going right now, simply because we do not have our next generation, our second generation dreadnoughts available to us yet. Um, the first two are currently building. They're three months out, so six months out with uh, commissioning. Mm -hmm. We do have our other cruisers building as well. So uh, the next two uh, prop and terms are building along with the Ilians. Uh, they are suspended currently, but will we'll be in uh, production soon enough. Actually, we do need to work on expanding our dockyard space as well. So let actually, let, uh, we'll wait until January to do that. So we're, we're, right now, we're just kind of in a lull as we start trying to get these things built up and reorganized as of right now. Now, the setups will be going the way of the Dodo uh, as time goes on, so we'll refit them as we can, but we want to get these bigger dreadnoughts of it, that are available to us uh, into the fight as soon as possible. More transports, kill those, and then this task force is now available to move towards here. So we'll get those bad boys over here. And then, yeah, we're just, we're, we're kind of just waiting at this point in time. Like we're just waiting to be able to start taking that. Um, we got four turns until it expires. These guys will be there in three turns. So we'll just barely get there. And then these guys just got there. So let's go ahead and start the invasion of Guam. Now, the, uh, the Far East Squadron is uh, quite powerful overall. Um, it is a very, very good squadron. And then the Southeast Squadron, uh, currently just hanging out in port, doing sea patrols and so on and so forth. So we'll get engagements as we do there. Now we do have these convoy actions, so let's go ahead and start with these. So we have uh, cruiser action, let's go ahead and just auto resolve that. And then we have our heavy cruiser versus an enemy battleship. I don't know which battleship this would be. Oh, this is one of their, this is one of their newer battleships. Actually, no, it might actually be a turret ship still. Oh, no, no, it's 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 one of their newer uh, pre-dreadnoughts. So we'll get we'll get a good taste on whether or not the uh, class of heavy cruiser that we built are worth it with this battle. So let's go ahead and move out. So we have good torpedo range, so we can we can definitely make torpedo attacks with uh, with this ship on the enemy ship. Uh, it actually doesn't have torpedoes, so that's actually good for us. Now, we're dealing 9-inch guns versus 11-inch guns, but these are Mark III 9-inch guns, so they are fucking flying. And they, we also have better range than him. So are these Mark IIs or Mark Ones? Oh, they're Mark II 11-inch guns. So they're no slouch. So if we can, we'll go ahead and engage the transports first and kill the transports and then proceed to kill the enemy battleship. 
Let's go ahead and turn off the torpedo tubes because we'll, we'll close the distance with the uh, transports first. Ooh, we're getting good. We're 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 getting good hits on the. Uh... All right, all batteries focus fire on the enemy battleship, and then let's turn the torpedoes on. We are probably going to get a couple connections there. Uh, nope, just. Barely not, unfortunately. Ooh, very nice. Okay, so we're we're putting out damage towards the enemy ship. I'll go ahead and slow it down for you guys so we can enjoy the battle a little a little more. To angle the cruiser a little better so the uh, forward gun uh, forward battery can engage more easily. And then the addition of those two-inch batteries, is, it just looks so menacing. Like, that, is, that does not look like a cruiser that you actually want to fuck with at all. So we are seeing the, the issue with nine-inch batteries is that the penetration is just not that great. Let's go ahead and turn it up to two speed just to, just to be able to get some more consistent... Uh, action oh I say that as we get a nice little penetration right there oh ah, we actually blocked that very nice so the armor is holding up eight inch main belt nine inch uh, or, or eight eight inch uh, main belt for uh, four and aft belts and this enemy battleship might just be going down. Do not fuck with the Russian Navy. <laughs> oh, very nice. Very fucking nice. All right, let's go ahead and speed it up just for this part. Actually, real quick, let me... Go ahead and get a get a screenshot of this. Actually, wait, I have to look. Yes, I, I, I was angling at the right right direction. <laughs> enemy enemy battleships stand no chance against our heavy cruisers. Ooh. Oh my lord, that was just an instant sinking. Oh god. Yes, our our heavy cruisers are apparently pretty solid. Very nice. Oh, that was that was very very good. We we like that. We like that kind of performance. Come on, guys. Let me out of the battle. Oh, no. Fight to the end. We're... Shit. I'll keep sinking your battleships. What do you mean? All right. And then, of course, we got heavy cruiser, light cruiser escort with a few enemy ships that we got to go kill. So let's go do that. So this is just one of our Triumph class uh, cruisers, so it's not one of the newer ones, unfortunately. Love to get one of the new ones in action. I would love to see it in action. 
So the enemy contact is to the north. Let's go ahead and split the light cruiser off. The heavy cruiser will just plow down the middle. And with the with the exceptionally powerful guns that these heavy cruisers have, you know, they're uh, our our next heavy cruisers will have eight inch guns because it'll just just from a DPS point of view it'll be better. But these these nine inch cruisers are definitely a menace. Oh, jeez. Uh, it would appear that the uh, Chinese uh, heavy cruisers are not as well armored as ours. <laughs> because that took a near instant death hit. Let's, let's take a look at these real quick. Uh, oh, God, no, it has no armor whatsoever. <laughs> oh, no. All right, the enemy cruisers are starting to chase my cruiser. Let's take a look. What are these bad boys got? Uh, these are the three mass cruisers, so they're not, they're not that great. They're slow. They're cumbersome. The Triumph will eat them for breakfast. So, so will, so will our heavy cruiser. Like, that's the thing about, about these Chinese ships is that they just are so, they're, they're, they're two generations behind now, at minimum, three generations even. So they're very, very much in a critical position when it comes to the quality of their ships. And to imagine, they used to scare me. just bracketing the entire side of that ship like nothing surviving all right well quick quick little cruiser action right there the triumphs showing that they can too in fact get in and stick it to the enemy. Wow. All right, quick little quick little convoy action right there. We like that. We like that a lot. Quick and dirty. So we now know that our heavy cruisers can solo the enemy pre dreadnought battleships, which is cool. Which is very cool. <laughs> That's another, that's another several Chinese ships to the bottom. Not a situation that the Chinese want to be in. Now our goal is, is to finish off the Spanish with this war. If we can, we'll finish off the Chinese, but I doubt we'll be able to do it with just the one fleet. 
I, I have the belief that we will most likely have to get the uh, get the rest of or get the Black Sea Fleet involved with that affair. I'm not 100 percent sure yet. I hope I don't have to get the Black Sea Sea Fleet involved, but and the army is slightly retarded, so not that much you can do. It is what it is, unfortunately. Peace between, seriously, seriously. <laughs> I hate the government. I hate the government. I hate the government. I hate the government. All right. Well, um, let's let's not even bother with money. Let's sh just take their biggest ships possible, and then we're just gonna fucking scrap the bitches. Oh, hey, look at that uh, cruiser action against a. I'm gonna fight it just because the auto resolve sucks. Okay, well. Are these all triumphs? Yeah, they're all triumphs. Okay. All right, little night action. I can play with this. Now, hopefully we can catch the enemy battleship because I would love to just sink the bastard just to get rid of him. going on there, bud? Alright, so this is actually a proper pre-dreadnought, funny enough. So we have a proper pre-dreadnought, still has crap technology all across it, like Mark 1, Mark 1s, Mark 1s, Mark 2s. Okay, so they've, they've got Mark 2 uh, 4 inch guns. But it doesn't count for much, honestly speaking, especially when we're just raking the freaking superstructure like we are right now. And all we gotta do is keep doing this, and eventually we'll kill kill most of his crew. Like, oh no! Enemy battleship with crap guns that can't hit the broadside of a barn. What should we ever do? Oh wait, we can just kill it with HE. It's actually got good armor. Funny enough, it's actually got really good armor for a pre-dreadnought. But its gun technology is absolutely horrendous. And we managed to blow a torpedo, so that just put a hole in the side of the ship. Oh, you thought night fighting was going to give you an advantage. Oh, no, 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 sir. No, 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 no. Uh-uh. Not at all. We just we just sit here at a, a decent little range. Oh wait, we lost him. There he is again. Oh, can we do a torpedo pass? Oh, <laughs> ammo detonation. Oh no. Oh no. He's sinking fast. He is sinking very fast. 
Oh, okay. Well, that's that's a dead enemy battleship. <laughs> oh no, poor guy. He had no shot. <laughs> he had no shot whatsoever. Poor dude's like, I could kill four light cruisers. Uh, no, I can't hit them. Fuck. <laughs> oh, wait. Why did an HE shell just penetrate my bow and just blow my ammunition? <laughs> because, sir, you do not have the technology. All right. Well, uh, oh, gosh. Oh, God. Oh, God. I, I would not want to be these cruisers. So we're going to... We're gonna fight this battle just so I can check out the profit turns. <clears throat> Cruiser pursuit. Gotta love it. This will actually help the situation with the black with the uh all right profit turn asia asia these are still the old asias too wait how how are these still the old asias oh no they're not okay i was about to say i was like wait i thought i upgraded all of them We're actually gonna separate the profit turns from each other, or from the Asias, and then we'll add the Asias into the same into the same division. Because I want to I want to see these guys do their work, and then the the battleships and the. Uh, Cruisers can hang, or the uh, heavy cruisers can hang out with one another. Let's get the destroyers out. They can scout for the enemy. Yeah, I'm really, I'm really curious to see how the profit turns perform because if they perform well enough then that's just awesome then it just lends credence to the aliens being pretty good as well oh these enemy cruisers are running they are beating feet so goddamn hard they're like we want none of this smoke they are running as fast as they fucking can we'll see if the destroyers can catch up oh okay okay yep yep there we go there they are We haven't sighted the other cruiser yet. So real quick, okay, that's light cruiser. That's a light cruiser. We haven't sighted the heavy cruiser yet. So the heavy cruiser is what we're missing. And because these are four inch gun destroyers, they are going to actually be able to pin this armor, funny enough. Like this is this is actually kind of the the fun part about this is that oh oh no get the proper turns actually coming this way ah there's the enemy like or a heavy cruiser Fish in the water, contact, dud, of course. So 
So the prof returns, they're, they're saying we're full speed ahead, but it's going to be a minute before they get into the action. I have high hopes for this Asia refit because it's 5.5 inch guns on a somewhat unstable platform. Oh, <clears throat> wow. One of those one of those four inch shells just actually just ripped right into that heavy cruiser. Holy crap. Alright, we're gonna let the destroyers sail off. They screw it, whatever. And we just wanna chase them into the profit turns so we can see their performance in combat. Overall gun range, 8.8 .8 kilometers. What's the overall gun range of the Wow, the 5.5s are 11.7. Jeez. Mark twos. Mark twos, so. Oh. Oh, no. The Asias are good. <laughs> the Asias are really good, apparently. This was a good refit. Now, mind you, the profit turns uh, secondary battery and main battery is heavier than the Asia's, so. Oof. Poor guy sunk while in the smoke. He got lost in the sauce. Kind of like I did yesterday with, with Manor Lords. Manor Lords was really dangerous yesterday. 5.1 kilometer torpedoes, very nice. Oh God. All right, so the profit turns, uh, they, they, okay, that was a good showcase of, of their capabilities. Just instantly just deleted the, the, the buoyancy of that ship. <laughs> Just completely deleted the buoyancy. And that's more Spanish ships to the bottom. Fight to the end, we're, we're not done with them. Wait, are we losing transports right now? How are we losing transports? I have so many ships all over the place. How are we losing transports? I don't understand. Where could we possibly be losing transports? Two turns. Oh, okay. So sinking, sinking those other ships put it, put it over. Okay, very good, very good. Okay, I I should have taken note of where we're losing those transports. It might be in this region here, but we don't have a presence here. We can't we can't put ships here really. So that's kind of annoying. But we'll finish taking the Spanish holdings in the Pacific completely negate their, any logistics that they have. Oh my god. <laughs> five, five heavy cruisers, six light cruisers. Uh, three heavy cruisers, two light cruisers. They, they just sent everything over to the Pacific for no fucking reason. Like, I don't understand this. Why would you send forces over here when your mainland is being invaded? <laughs> it makes no sense. Uh, okay, uh, 
Okay, so these are about to commission, so we'll send these guys over to here once we have those available. Because those will really help our our development. Um, let's go ahead and get the uh, get these ships going again. And then can we get a couple more battleships going? we do we do need to keep the battleships building even though it's very expensive very costly we do need to get keep these guys going so let's go ahead and put these guys in crunch stat uh, oh okay so let's actually let's actually view this real quick let's get a better understanding of what these fuckers are like So this was the Chinese battleship that we sunk. It's completely obsolete design, minimal speed, like, <sighs> yeah, yeah. The only thing this thing really has going for it is probably, it, it's probably really cheap to produce. 60 million, yeah, this, th that's the only thing this thing has going for it. And it only has mini bulkheads, it doesn't have max bulkheads. So it's very sinkable, poor guys. All right, well, we'll scrap it just to just to deny it from the Chinese. Do 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 do. If it would load faster, please load faster. This is the only problem with this game is the load times between different menus. All right, thank you. All right, let's go ahead and scrap her. Um. Are we still under? Yes, we're still under. Very nice. All right, cool. Well, we're, we're spending a horrendous amount of money right now. That really sucks, but it is what it is. We kind of have to. Um, oh, these guys are, these guys should be on sea control. What, Central Atlantic? Like, of course the Spanish are gonna be sinking shit there. All right. Well, Guam's gonna fall within two turns, and then we can take the Carolina Islands. And then at that point, we are uh, we have officially eliminated the Spanish from the Pacific, and we and we've taken all their land. Like it's not even like oh hey they had some rebellions or whatever. No, we've taken everything from them. <laughs> we we took it all. <laughs> uh, okay and then we'll be able to put the put the Far East squadron or the Far East fleet back into Vladivostok and that's kind of where we're going to be at unfortunately for them and we now have Mark II 14-inch guns. That's very nice. Of course, enemy ships have shown up. Because why not? Why not? All right. We're not losing any more transports. I think I think all the transports we lost all of a sudden were down in the Central Atlantic area, which we just activated the convoy escorts for that. Let's go ahead and sink some more ships. Uh, like there, there's really nothing, nothing more that we can really fucking do right now. We're just waiting for these invasions. To the northeast we go. Now, luckily, uh, what 
what we've seen so far, the Asia refit was a success. The prof return was a success. Now we just got to see the Ilian, um, which I suspect because of its similar design to the prof return, it's probably going to be a success. convoy why hello there I've come to sink you I just love the number of guns sounding off from the, from these ships it's like oh hey do, 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 do. sir we have the traverse hit it So the escorting heavy cruisers, of course, at the... Yeah, of course the cruisers are just refusing battle because, oh no, it's the it's the Russians. They have better ships than us. Run away. Oh wait, we can't run away because we're too slow. Oh, now they're turning the fight. Ah, uh, no, not anymore. They're they're continuing to run. Oh my god. What it what it must be like to to exist within the Spanish Admiralty, it must be like, if you see a Russian flag, fucking haul ass. But sir, our ships are slower than theirs. I don't care. Run. <laughs> Oop. Took a hit there. It's all right. <laughs> the Begona is, uh, it's sinking very quickly. <laughs> oh my god. God, we just, we, we just, we came up alongside that ship and just absolutely drenched it in four inch shells. It had no shot. Oh my God. This, the, the, it's not a war crime, but it kind of feels war crimey. <laughs> Ooh, okay, nice, nice return fire from the, uh, Nava, Navais, Narvais, 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 Narvais. I don't know. I don't date this. I don't. I, I don't date the Spanish speaker anymore. So, can't really. Uh, can't really ask her. Actually, it's kind of funny. I actually like. I used to text her like, "Hey, how would you? How would you say this?" Used to do that all the fucking time. <laughs> All right, well, that's uh, that's another Spanish convoy to the bottom. And another one busted us. And another one gone, and another one gone. Another one busted us. Gonna get you too, another one busted us. Okay, I should stop that. That's another another series of enemy ships to the bottom, and oh wait, we have more. Oh, big convoy, big old convoy.
This is going to hurt the Spanish a lot. <laughs> this is going to hurt. They are not going to enjoy this. Uh, such a peaceful morning on the sea as we roll out to uh, to exact sweet, sweet destruction on the Spanish Navy. Oh, wait, look, we're already spotted. I wonder by what? <laughs> Would it happen to be a very helpless battleship that has no shot whatsoever? Oh, I, want, I, I suspect it is. Let's put these two off this way. Oh my god, the number of tracers coming off these boats. This is not what you want to see in an engagement. All of a sudden, the, the cruisers just open up and they have so many guns on them, it's unreal. It's like, uh, uh, crap, 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 crap. <laughs> Alright, boys, you got a job to do. Kill that freaking battleship. Oh, torpedo detonation already? Oh no. <laughs> How unfortunate for you. Ooh, okay, that one got close. But it's okay. I have torpedoes. You don't. Well, you do, but, you know. <laughs> they don't have any range. Oh, God. Oh, wow. What did that hit? What in the fuck did that hit? Holy shit. Did that... That must have hit the engine room or a magazine. Oh, no. Another one. What should you... What will you ever do? Uh, oh, you're sinking. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> the transports ran into the rest of the, the other two cruisers trying to get away from this division. <laughs> they just turned like, oh, we gotta go this way. Wait, there's more this way. Fuck! <laughs> oh, no. I would not want to be a uh, transport captain in this situation. Oh, these have guns. I didn't realize these actually have guns. Oh, God. Egad. I'm very glad I, I just noticed that. Note to self, Spanish transports can hurt you. Don't get close to them. Oh, guys, that's just overkill. Oh, okay, that was a dud. Never mind, never mind. I give it a pass, I give it a pass. Wait, there's another one. Guys, guys, it's dead. He's, okay, never mind, it's a dud. <laughs> Never mind. No war crimes were committed today. <laughs> oh my lord. This poor convoy just got absolutely mince meated. They're they're sitting there, they're 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 all in their life rafts and they're like What did we learn today? If it's got a Russian flag, just surrender. That, that's, <laughs> that's fucking devastating. Oh my lord. Ah, yes, the Brooklyn class. When, when we learned that you could, you could have a weird turret, a weird third forward turret like this and get away with it. <laughs> <laughs> the Brooklyns were actually pretty pretty solid ships. Um, if I remember correctly, they ended up getting turned into guided missile uh, guided missile cruisers uh, later on, um, in lieu of the uh, Clevelands. Which the Clevelands basically they they started getting retired around the time that the war ended. 
<clears throat> okay. Uh, so we're about to take that. We're we're absolutely slotting the Spanish. Let's do a check real quick. Um, they have just over a hundred thousand, a hundred or just under one hundred twenty-five thousand tons. Uh, they are they're not looking too healthy right now. So, anyways, guys, I love you all. I'll catch you later. Keep it classy.